Hello YouTube. I hope everybody had a um, happy New Year's evening and made it safely into 2021. And this is just a short video of my newest can gauge that is coming up. And this is the main screen. It will have eight screens with uh, multiple readouts, not just single readouts like speed, RPM, gear and whatnot, because that would make it uh, about 26 screens. And since I'm having a 3.5 inch display, IPS display, of course, with uh, 320 by 480 pixels, I have more room to uh, show more info on a single screen so you don't have to go back and forth all the time. Uh, this is a touch screen obviously, the menu is not implement implemented yet. And this is the first working screen, I have a second static screen ready and the other ones are in the works. So I wanted to show you, I mean it's I think obvious what it is. This is speed, it will of course also come with uh, Imperial or in Imperial which uh, miles per hour and uh, degree Fahrenheit. RPM is the same and this is uh, throttle position which is also percent is the same. Uh, well I said that this is RPM and this is you might recognize that symbol that is water temperature. So let's now show, let me show you the what happens with the speed if I uh, increase that. As you can see you have the gear number changing, you have the animation here changing. Um, you can't quite make it out in the video, I know it's kind of dark and the colors look like they're checkered but uh, obviously they're not, they're solid filled colors. And this is the gear indicator from 1 to 6 and if you're not driving, if you're standing still and engine is running, it will show neutral. And this one has a um, speed warning at 90 km per hour because that's what we have here. You can see it light up there. Um, that's here on country roads that you can drive 90 km per hour and that's the indicator. Obviously, the finished version will have the enclosure, custom CNC uh, machine enclosure with the new pixels. So here on this screen, most likely the new pixels will show the RPM shift light. And um, now I'm out of focus. Why don't they make manual focus anyway? So that is the speed and uh, you have, in my case, I always make this for my personal use first and then of course it's customizable for the customer. This one most likely will have a setup uh, screen, setting screen where you can adjust your speed settings, your speed warning settings, your RPM shift light settings and uh, you can will be able to adjust all those on the device itself. So here I have the RPM set to 4500 RPM and then you see the shift light coming on. What I did here on purpose is I have only 10th of uh, RPM increase so it does not show the single digit that's always zero and the other digits go up in 10th values 10, 20, 30 and so on. I did this because I think the resolution is high enough and uh, this just makes the display um, less, um, well not less but easier to read. Uh, you don't have that many numbers floating up and down real fast. So that's why I did this on here. I could technically do 20. Um, steps 20 rpm steps so 20 40 60 80 i could do 50 steps i could even go as high as 100 steps 
so it will be 6500, 6600, 6700 and so on but I do like it like this personally and that is what it is so here you have the shift light and then obviously the new pixels will also uh, increase and then when it's uh, when the shift light comes on all the new pixels will blink and uh, you might have noticed also on the temperature for celsius if it goes over 100 degrees celsius it turns the digits turn red and the uh, warning indicator comes on as well so that's what i did and this is throttle position that just shows the throttle position because if you i like to drive with cruise, cruise control on and then it's always nice to see obviously your speed and rpm and if it shifts down how much gas it does uh, or how much the pedal is uh, being pressed by the ecu so if you're going up the hill you can see the percentage increase if you're going down the hill you see it uh, decrease and um, that is it actually and uh, i'm just doing the individual uh, readings on the simulator although these are uh, they're going up by themselves so this is the first main screen and i hear you saying uh, you don't care that much about the uh, gear okay i will make three main versions of the screen or three versions of the main screen this way around this one has the gear I will make one with the speed that the speeds are big and then the gear is smaller down here and then I will make a third one with the RPM because some people want to see the RPM and um, so it will have three again selectable in the menu so this is the first screen and then I will just read you or tell you what the other screens is are the second screen will be a boost screen which will show you pressure the map pressure uh, if it's if it's a natural aspirated engine like mine is it will show only vacuum and if it's if you have a turbo it will show the turbo pressure and then it will have a voltmeter it will have oil temperature it will have um, AFR air fuel ratio and it will have timing advance so that will be the second screen and then you will have a sports screen which will show a g-force meter in the middle and then you have again in the four corners you will have 0 to 60 timer 0 to 100 0 to 60 miles per hour timer 0 to 100, 100 kilometers per hour timer 100 to 200 kilometer hour timer and you will have a quarter mile and the quarter mile will have a light tree uh, animation here where the shift light is and so that's the third one and then you will have an info screen which will show you your fuel consumption if you have any DTC errors and you will be able to clear the DTC errors it will show you the distance traveled uh, with uh, DTC error on and uh, after they're cleared it will show you the amb ambient air temperature intake air tem blah, 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 I'm sorry intake air temperature and the fuel level and uh, one two three four the fourth screen will be no the fifth screen will be the oxygen sensor voltage reading screen if you have a four cylinder you have only two oxygen sensors if you have a six cylinder and up you will have four oxygen sensors and it will show it in a graph and uh, as digits and the next screen will be a catalytic converter temperature screen which will show you that the next screen will be a gps info screen which will work independent of your car obviously over a satellite connection and that will show time date speed latitude longitude altitude and your bearing and the last screen will be a screen that will read your supported pids that you have on your gauge 
and we'll list those on the display. So this will be it, the way it will work. As I said, it's a touch screen. If you're in any screen, you will touch it anywhere in the middle. The menu will come up and then you will be able to choose one of the screens and then it will go to that screen directly. So you don't have to go backwards and forwards and scroll to all the screens till you get where you want to go. And um, that will be it, I think. Uh, obviously, I do come up with new ideas, so I might add uh, additional screens or other features. I probably even forgot to tell you what else I have in mind with this gauge. And um, yes, so this is my next new upcoming gauge hopefully the last one because i made way too many and uh, the first two you can buy in my tindy store the link is in the description and this one will be i don't know maybe pre-order because i have to get a certain amount of cases uh, cnc machined to bring the price down and I'm not sh quite sure how that is gonna work and um, I will go also depending on uh, customer or people's feedback so if you have any comments questions uh, suggestions uh, critique if you find it looks like shit tell me so <laughs> um, you can leave your comment in below the video and I do have uh, some affiliate links. If you like to support me a little bit, you can do uh, use the affiliate links for Banggood. And uh, if you want to support me monthly, you are more than welcome to do so over Patreon. Or if you just uh, want to send me a tip, buy me a coffee, you can use the PayPal link that is also in the description and um, I think this is it not too bad right not too long a video um, sorry that I'm showing just one screen but uh, just showing a static screen uh, would not be fun but it does look great if you think this looks good the other one looks even better because it has a big and uh, not the <laughs> analog animated dial in the middle and then the four readings in the corners um, as for colors I might do uh, a colored version and I might also do a black and white version and maybe a 8-bit uh, gray 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 color version so that I haven't decided yet that will be probably also be selectable in the menu so as I said, if you like it, please do leave your comments and uh, this was my first video in 2021 and hopefully I will continue to make videos of course and show you what I come up with with uh, just a teaser. This is one of my next products and uh, as you might see it will have uh, the same display and the bottom here will be not one but two rotary encoders and this one will be also in a come in a cnc machined aluminum case so it will be high end and um, it will actually use rotary encoders like these guys that you probably know and uh, what is also possible is if you do not want rotary encoders because that will be actually uh, a product that you can make also yourself into whatever you like it to be so i have a few ideas i'll tell you in the next video but technically you could have two rotary encoders or two potentiometers or one of each and uh, 
these are the knobs that I will be using because they are also easy to turn with just one uh, finger or thumb for that matter you could just hold it in your hand like this and turn it and um, yes so this is my next next product that I am thinking about making but first I have to finish these this one and um, oh oops sorry just came to the wire here um, this is actually based on the ESP32 so it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy capability so those might be features I will add uh, it will have a micro SD card for data logging you could be able to just data log your um, uh, runs or whatever you do when you're driving and then you could uh, transfer it over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your PC or phone for further investigation so those are all features that will be included in this and uh, what else what else I think this was it well anyway I want to keep it short thank you for watching and take care everybody and I wish everybody uh, great 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 2021 year take care everybody